Hey friends and welcome back. You're over at the section where it's squash, zucchini, my big OS cross. I cut a lot of the leaves off the bottom and gave it to the chickens, but this is doing amazing. Okay, moral of this video is don't let your stuff stay on the plant too long. For an example, I wanted to let this stay on so it got to the size it's supposed to. This is a gray and white striped zucchini. Actually, this is a Coco Zella from M.I. Gardener. Now, don't let it get too big because then the seeds are huge. Um, if you take your zucchini off your plants without letting them overripe, within two, three days, you'll have more zucchini. So that's what I've been doing this year. I've been trying to stay on top of all the zucchini looking them over you know you saw that video squash bugs I did check all of these I didn't see anything I think over there is meat squash and something else um, buttercup squash and then butternut squash but that butternut squash is running all the way back there <gasps> oh my goodness gracious just kind of funny but kind of not funny so all those zucchinis that you saw me pick I keep coming out every day. I just keep looking. I knew this was this one was here. I was watching it. And now it's time to take it off. So I'm just going to give it a twist. This is a great size. Actually, this might need scissors. Let me check. So I've explained before, I usually will just twist my zucchinis right to left to then take it off. And pretty good. Look at the size of this bad boy. I didn't want to pick it when it was tight, extremely tiny. It's thick. This is definitely like filling. This would make a great zucchini boat. And that, my friends, was grown in a pot. And then there is another one here that I think was absolutely pollinated. This is the pot again, in case you missed that video, where I was having trouble germinating seeds. I think the squirrels were eating them. So I put a yellow from Hus Tools and then a Coco Zella. I did multitudes. The green zucchini, you name it. And these two I never bothered to take out. I'm not planning on saving any seeds from them. But I showed it on my live. This is a yellow and white striped zucchini um, Hus Tools. And then this is um, a Coco Zella from M.I. Gardener. I love this zucchini. Okay, so I checked all these earlier over there. Um, I think I saw one back there. And then I checked all those plants back there. You want to take your zucchini off pretty much immediately as soon as you find it. So that in two, three days, you'll have more. You don't want them to get too big. You don't want the plant to think okay it made that and now it doesn't have to make any more you want to get the highest yields from your zucchini and that's the best way to do it is to get them off as soon as possible so i think i am so sore oh my gosh it was so hot here today and i weed i did so many things feels like i did 500 things but then i weed it the side garden near the look squirrel moment can you see that top vine? It's going all the way across the top of the wood. And I saw that it was attached to a couple of my tomatoes. So that's not good. Um, where was I since I had my squirrel moment? Oh, I weed it in the heat. Jean's side garden next to the deck. And I think I did that for like three hours because it's out of hand. There is another Cocozella. This can go till tomorrow. And then I'm going to pick this right off. It has other blooms. has other ones starting, as you can see. And that's how you get maximum yields. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. And then this one today, I put a tomato cage over it. Jeans to get it up off the ground. So, yeah, yellow squash and that one there. And 
Let me see. I think this plant over here. Let me just double check. Lots of blooms going on. But I keep a real close eye this time. If I wouldn't have kept that close of an eye, I wouldn't even have caught those squash bugs at all. I just wouldn't have done it. Um, look at this kohlrabi. It's like huge. I've never ate it before. Bugs are eating the leaves. So that's definitely going to be harvested. The kohlrabi. Jeannie bought that. So I think my friend ate one one time and said it tastes like a cucumber. Okay. And then my other zucchinis that are in the garden. Let's see if I can just show you without actually having to go into the garden. You can see, hopefully you can see. Just move the leaf first out of the way. You can see the stem. You can see every single one that I've taken off. And now, it is producing more flowers and probably in three days there'll be more zucchini on that and then i have a small one already right there starting and more blooms so zucchini knock on wood i did start some more seeds but all my zucchini is doing wonderful and that's because hello i'm checking on a daily I'm not letting any zucchini get gigantic. I have zucchini in the house to make zucchini muffins. I have to make zucchini bread for Jean's sister. And yeah, so stay on top of your zucchinis and take them off immediately. Um, check your leaves every day. Check the underneaths. Um, so far, I mean, knock on wood, I have not seen anything on any of these zucchini plants over here no bugs no eggs nothing and then i did check these so i have two in this pot i have that one right there so that's two three four five and in the back would be six. Oh, actually and that one i have seven zucchinis because when jean told me why don't i stay till october and garden they love cucumbers, peppers, zucchini. I planted a lot of zucchini and I just started more seeds just in case these get knocked out. I do have the three smaller ones and then I'll have seeds already ready to go in. So that's how I do it. That's how I handle the zucchini situation. And this is a great size. It actually got very fat down this end within a matter of like a day. So that is my video. And now I will keep an eye on that one. And there's two yellows over there. There's one. There's the other one. And then I have that one back there that I will look at tomorrow and determine whether or not I'm going to pick it. So moral of the story, harvest your zucchinis pretty much immediately if they're up to size don't let them get too big and you can get a good production going with the plant the plant will just keep on producing and producing and producing as long as you can keep the plant healthy so that's my video today love you all like subscribe do all that fun good stuff and i will catch you on the next video which is going to be an update on the green stalks um, just different pruning techniques, things like that. And then I have to do a harvest. So stay tuned for that. But I love you all. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye, friends.